Oh, I knew this was going to come up tonight. I knew this was going to come up. <clears throat> Mervin says, thoughts on Sasha's comment regarding always taking the first offer when you're selling a car. LOL, I actually just told sold a Jeter SP4 or rookie card and was glad that I didn't take the first offer. Um, Let's I get into the door. I think it all depends. No, I can go first. I think it all depends. Mm -hmm. It all depends on what that first offer is, in my opinion. If I've done my research and I know kind of what the market is for this item that I'm trying to sell, what is that first offer? Sometimes you can receive something that's spot on. Sometimes you can receive mm -hmm. something where someone may be checking to see what you know. What exactly do you know? Mm -hmm. and, um, may not be the, the right opportunity to take the first offer. JD, you go. Um, I agree with you too. Is this you got to know what the value? I mean, it depends what you're into too, right? Like you're talking about. It's more of the let's say you want to move if you're. I'm like, I don't even know. I guess you're just like moving cars. Then, yeah, you want to just keep moving, moving, moving until you get to that next point. But at the same time, we don't know how much you're in on that card. Right. So maybe the first offer may be an offer that can't be um, you don't want to miss out on. But at the same time, you got to you just got to be smart about it. But it, there's always two sides to the story when it comes to dealing, because like I said, you don't know what's what's that person into in that card and vice versa. So, what I'll say, I, what I'll say to this, though, though. Is that like that's Sasha's opinion, right? So he gave his yeah. opinion. It's he a it's a good conversation, a good conversation starter. Because at yeah. the same time, I'm like some let I mean, let's say you're in a car for like if you're in a car for like a few months already, you can't move it, you can't move it, and you're just, just is it sitting there, right? It's stale in stale inventory, then you take it and then you and then you be smart about it and we'll see what my, what you're gonna move into next. It's about knowing what the next move is. Like everybody's always tense, you know. Sasha, all of them are always what ten steps ahead of everybody. You just gotta find the the chart. I always always talk about. <clears throat> I knew that question was coming. That's a good question. Yep. But for me, it depends. If I'm, I don't know. It depends. It has to be a really good offer. So let's say you had a car. What's up, LA hobbyist? What's up, AJ? Let's say you had a car that was a hundred dollar car. You want to sell it? You let me know. I'll offer you fifty dollars for it. <laughs> I'm not. That, I'm not that desperate to sell a car for fifty percent. Talking about somebody out there, maybe. I'm not. I'm smart about mo. I, let me tell you something. I work hard for what I have. Let's put that out there right now. Everything I buy, I work. I put t countless amount of time into it and effort to it. So I'm not crazy enough to drop it. For fifty percent or whatever it is, like you guys are insane. If you think I'm gonna be looking at you, like no, I can't do that. I'll say I'll say it as nice as I can. Like no, I'm. Well, hey, Mervin, let me know what you think, though. What did you think this? Fifty percent FD? Come on, man. Dude, this happens all the time. JD, I'm yeah. at show. I hear this. This happens all. What are you talking about? This happens all the time. I'm you walking, and somebody dude. says, "Oh yeah, I picked that up for fifty percent." I look at the card. I'm like, that's an eight hundred dollar card. And you and you gonna sell it for four hundred? No, I, I've heard these oh. comments. I've heard these oh. calls made. People are coming sometimes 50, 60 percent of what that's that why, car is. I tell you that. That's why I don't like. Um, well, let me say this without without ruffling any feathers. I don't know how to say this, but um, I just that's I don't know, man. It's not fair that people get certain um advantage or anything because who they are. Like, just be. It, and I, and I blame the seller, too. Like, why are you going to sell something for 50% just because of the person that's in front of you? Like, be smart about it. I don't know. 50% FD? If I'm in a card for 1000 I'm going to sell it for 500 My wife will I'll on walk the into that side, On the flip side, I've heard some crazy prices for some curry cards recently. I know, man, but damn. Let's, let's, let's talk about both sides. I know, because I agree. There are people that say a car is worth a hundred dollars, right? It's throwing out a number. Curry just won a championship. The last sale is only like 100, 125, somewhere in there. There are people saying, I'm, I'll sell it for 400. I so you're, so you're, you're, es you're guesstimating the market trend on a card, and there has been no evidence of that. That's the scary part, right? <laughs> that's the, 
I'm just putting both sides out there. I'm just saying, like, th- like these cars are like one out of ten. Like this Kyrie, that's one out of ten. That's cr- it's hard to move because there's no um, comp on it, and it's just what the buyer wants to pay for it as well. Well, the They're thing not- right now too, I would think certain LeBrons. Let's just keep it real. Certain Curry cards, people are holding. <clears throat> so even if he won a championship, and the and the market value has increased. There's no sale on the card that tells you what it has increased. So yeah, it's at sure. this point, what 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 been a week or two after the finals have ended? A week, right? Yeah. So now all the stuff I hear until something actually sells, it's gonna be someone's guesstimation. And if the number sounds right to the buyer, then they're gonna be like, okay, or no, I can't. I don't know. I don't I don't know if I see that yet. Five hundred. Damn. That's crazy to me. I mean, that's insane, dude. I mean, I don't even know what to say at that point. So Mervin says we got a Jeter BGS eight point five Compton for five to six hundred. Mine had ten centering, and I was in it for six hundred. Sold it for eight ninety nine. Mine was the lowest listed. Dang, that's crazy. But I get. I mean, it goes back to the people. If they want to buy it, they want to buy it. Some people see value in things that we may not see. Yeah, it all depends on who's buying and what value they see. It has nothing to do with really anything else. The big players know how to leverage their popularity when buying and trading. I hate that, man. That's so bad. It's not It's not even fair sometimes. Feed the guys. That's why I keep rolling with FD because he always bringing that devil's advocate side towards everything. I try to think through everything. Even stuff that I make decisions on, I play devil's advocate with myself. Like, am I overthinking something, underthinking it? No, or you know, once you overthink, it, that's it. What's that, sir? Yeah, I, I always, if you have to think about it multiple times, it's not even worth it. No, I don't know about that. That's some things that I've thought about multiple times. There's some things where. And I, I may come up with different decisions on the day that I think about it. Well, because you're right. Like, you're right. Because there's plays where I'm like, man, should I buy this? And then I leave and then. A few days later, magically, the car is in demand or whatever. That player goes crazy. And then there's days where, oh, thank God I didn't buy that car. It, something happened or it drops a lot. So, it, well, I don't let's, know. Let's go back to what Mervin's talking about, though. So, he sold the car for eight ninety nine. These are the numbers on what it was comping at. He had 10 centering. Uh, his first offer was four fifty. dollars Yeah. That's patience. And he knows the value of that card, so that's that's. Well, what I'll say though, if I'm if I'm in this card deal with Mervin and I want this card, and I think there's some kind of future market move on this card, JD, I'm going to go get the card. 